All right, welcome to An Idiot Learns to Tune. I'm John, and it's time to start this journey of tuning. So let me begin by introducing you to the patient. It's gonna be this five inch freestyle build, uh, 6S, and it's gonna have a Hero 9 on there. So it's kind of a heavy build. Uh, I've got some scuffed up props on there as well. Um, and it has been flown maidens to know that it does fly. Um, so even with that, the first step of tuning is just to make sure everything's mechanically sound. Uh, all the nuts and bolts, zip ties, everything's all tightened down so nothing's flopping around uh, extraneously making extra noise on the black box logs. So after that, and what I'm doing today is gonna start working on filter tuning. So the flights today and probably all the flights are just gonna be 30 seconds to a minute, quick movements, flips, rolls, some quick 180 turns, trying to induce some prop wash, um, some actual, some throttle blips too, to hit the full band of uh, the throttle range. So maybe you'll see some footage, but it'll probably all look pretty much the same, not really worth looking at too much flight footage, but um, who knows? Let's get started and uh, get this thing rolling. Okay, so I've got everything loaded into black box now. Uh, it did take me a couple days to kind of get things straightened away with getting logs uh, with uh, the new cloud build, getting things set up with that. And then it also took me a couple days to uh, do some research and figure out what I'm doing here. So I'm now in black box explorer. This is my flight on defaults. Uh, and this is my um, tuning flight, doing flips and rolls and everything I explained before. And I'm using this graph setup stuff from UAV Tech. So I've got all of these different options here. So for filters, we're going to look at noise plots. And before I do that, I just want to trim off the beginning and very end of the log where the takeoff and landing, where there might have been some bumps and stuff I don't want to see in the log that's kind of not appropriate to the flight. So just using the INO to trim that out. All right. So I guess where I'm at in this doesn't really matter. So I want to start looking at gyro scaled, which actually means the info before the gyro sees it. So let's pull these up and really look at what's happening here. I believe all of this beginning stuff is normal. And then you have your motor noise and any other noise i guess that is anything that's high up and down over here is noise uh can be anything like frame resonance and other stuff so on gyro that's what i've got and then this gyro roll here is after all the filtering so i believe all you want to see is just this um 
stuff here, which is the movement of the quad. So that looks like the filtering, there's plenty of filtering there on roll. Pitch looks even a little bit cleaner just from the beginning, this gyro scaled. And then after the filtering here, sometimes it takes a second, that looks all clean there. So filtering is doing a good job there. On yaw, it's pretty much the same. Actually, even less noise, less motor noise. Maybe I didn't do as much yaw movements. Um, but that's all crushed out, so to speak. And it looks like the filtering that's on here right now, the default filters, are doing a good job. Uh, it's plenty of filtering. Uh, there's one other thing to check with filters, and that's on D-Term. And I believe we're looking at if there's any excessive noise between 100 and 200 hertz. So let me zoom in a little bit and see that between 100 and 200, there's nothing extra going on there. Uh, that was roll and then, oh, what happened there? Okay, and then on pitch, there's nothing excessive there. So I guess those D-term filters are doing their job. So over to Betaflight, I just want to pop back to this PID tuning real quick. So all of that is stock. So I guess that's, you got your gyro filters and then the D-term filters. So I think that's what we were looking at there. I'm not going to mess with these numbers. I'm just going to mess with the presets, uh, trying to keep it simple for myself. Uh, maybe I'll go back one day and try that out, but for now, I'm just going to go under the presets and check out the filters. And I'm going to go down the list of the uh, official, I guess, official Betaflight filters with RPM filtering because there is RPM filtering set up on this quad. So that one's no, that one's no RPM, that one's no... This one's without RPM. This one's no RPM. This one's clean, so I'm gonna tag that real quick. With RPM, with, with, and with. So there's one, two, three, four, five of those. Looks like there's clean, noisy, normal, very clean, very noisy. So I'm gonna start with very noisy and work my way up to noisy, then normal, then clean, and very clean if all the filters, if all the black box looks the same as kind of what I had here. So very noisy, I'm just gonna pick this one and load that onto the quad. So, uh, what the heck, let's look in here and see what changed, I don't know. If I'll be able to tell, but um, wow, that looks like it's way, way more filtering. I don't know. I'll give it a try and see and work my way through and uh, get another black box log and come back to you and see how it goes.